fish has been a part of the Barbadian diet for countless years. It is very rich in protein and iodine and can be served in several mouth-watering ways. But before fish reaches the dinner table, do you know what is involved? Let us then take a look at the processes involved. It all begins with the fishermen whose work is vital to the economy and the daily health of the Barbadians. This daring individual braves the perils of the ocean to obtain his daily catch. He sometimes remains at sea for several days, sometimes hauling in a meager catch, other times an abundant monk. When he returns early in the morning or late in the evening, he sells his catch to a fish vendor who in turn sells it to us, whether whole or cleaned and even ready boned. Several types of fish are caught by the Barbadian fishermen. Among these are albacore, dolphin, flying fish, turpic, and kingfish. The albacore is one of the smallest tuna fish, often weighing less than 40 pounds or 18 kilograms, and reaching a maximum weight of 8 pounds or 36 kilograms. It feeds on schools of aquavies, sardines, and other small fish. Its meat is the whitest of all the tuna and is comparable to chicken in flavor. The dolphin used for food is not the mammal which performs in the aquariums, but it is rather the common dolphin, also called a dorado. It can swim at great speeds, often rapidly enough to capture flying fish. The largest dolphin are six feet long and weigh upwards to 100 pounds. After the fish have been landed, they are counted, as in the case of flying fish, and weighed, as in the case of the larger types of fish. And then they are cleaned. Flying fish are first scaled, then gutted, and finally boned. The boning of the fish allows for safer and easier eating by the consumer. Larger fish such as dolphin and kingfish are gutted, skinned, and cut into slices called steaks. Next, the flying fish are vacuum packed and sent to supermarkets where they are purchased by the consumer. Packaging serves to protect the contents of the pack and also to present the product in an attractive form. Since fish is a perishable commodity, that is, easily spoiled, it must be frozen quickly. This freezing kills any germs present and helps preserve the life of the product. Instead of purchasing his fish from the supermarket, the consumer can buy direct from the fish vendors, who can be found in fish markets or on street corners selling their wares. When the consumer is ready to prepare his fish for cooking, he places it in lime and salt to cut down on the rawness and to improve the flavor. The fish is then well seasoned and is usually fried, grilled, are boned. It can even be roasted. When fish is grilled, it is less greasy, thus containing less cholesterol. Fish is very delicate and must not be overcooked. After the fish has been cooked in whatever fashion, it can then be attractively served by placing it on a plate with salad, vegetables, etc. Presentation of the finished product is very important. Fish is also used to make salads. The fish used here is kingfish. Other ingredients such as onions, lime, sweet peppers, Italian dressing and salt all combine to make this an appetizing and nutritious dish. However fish is served, 
it is very tasty and nutritious. It is rich in iodine and protein, which are vital for the building of healthy bodies. The next time you take a delightful biteful of this delicacy, spare a thought for the fisherman. It is he who makes it all possible. Money for the break of day. I've got my bundle and I'm on my way. But with the fishes who live and go, I get the boat ready now. I make to go. You got to pull them and hold them, pull them, hold them, pull them, hold them. Pull them, 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 pull them